Number 68. In a laboratory experiment, the reaction of 3.0 moles of H2 with 2.0 moles of I2 produced 1.0 moles of HI. Determine the theoretical yield in grams and the percent yield for this reaction. Okay. So, first thing is I see theoretical yield, I see percent yield, they're talking about a reaction, we need a balanced equation. So, you could pause the video to see if you could make the balanced equation, but we've done tons of problems. If you guys are on the playlist, we've done tons of problems writing equations, balancing them. So, this will kind of be like a review. We produced or we made, hi, <laughs> HI. So, that's a product. So, I know that HI is going to be on the product side. And it was produced by the reaction of H2 and I2. So that's the reactants. Okay. And now that's my equation, but I just got to make sure that it's balanced. I have two hydrogens and two iodines. So I need a two here. And now we are good to go. Okay. The next thing is I like to write down what they told me. They told me that the reaction was between three moles of H2. So I have 3.0 moles of H2 and 2.0 moles of I2. And it actually produced one mole of HI. Now, they want to know what the percent yield is. So let's just give the formula right now. The formula for percent yield is this. It's basically just a regular, actually, I'll put it over here. So the percent yield formula is basically just a percent formula of part over whole. An actual yield is what you actually produced in the actual reaction. Theoretical yield is what you could max obtain if there was no error, no nothing. It's like 100% yield if there was no error at all. And this, this theoretical yield is always the one that's usually found with stoichiometry. They told you that you produced one mole of HI in the actual experiment, right? In the actual reaction. So they told you that you have an actual yield of 1.0 moles. So basically, if we need to find the percent yield, we need to find what that theoretical yield is. And the units have to match. So if you have mole of HI on the top, you should have a mole of HI on the bottom. So technically, from these two, you have to find out how many moles of HI could you have produced. But here's the problem. What number do I take, right? Do I take the three moles and go to, uh, you know, do I take the three moles of H2 and go to the moles of HI, or do I take the two moles of I2 and go to the moles of HI? This is where the limiting reactant comes in. One of these is going to be the limiting reactant. And don't think that the limiting reactant is the lowest amount. It might be in this case. However, that's not always the case. The limiting reactant will always produce the lowest amount of product. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these two and just see what each of them would make. And the lowest one is the theoretical yield. The highest one doesn't exist. Now, in this case, we're starting with moles. So in our little scheme of things here, which we've seen many times, we could get rid of the grams, right? We're starting with moles, so we're good. And basically, we can just go to moles, right? Because the answer here is in moles of HI. So this is an easy conversion. We just got to do it twice. So let's, let's maybe... Let's just do this for H2 first. So I'm going to say that I'm starting off with moles of H2, and I'm going to end with moles of HI. And the number that I'm starting with is 3.0. So let's maybe do it down below here. 3.0 moles of H2. This is just a conversion, right? Put the unit you don't want on the bottom. So moles of H2, and then moles of I, HI go on the top, and this is just the balanced equation. Use your coefficients. So for H2, there was nothing in the frontier, 
So that's secretly a 1. So for every 1 mole of H2, I have 2 moles that I could have produced. So a 2 goes up here. So if I use my 3 moles of H2, 3 times 2 is 6. I can produce 6 moles of HI. Okay, now I just have to do the same thing with the I2. So maybe I'll say, okay, I can actually, if I can, there we go. I'm just going to change these around, right? I'm going to say that now we're starting with I2. And instead of 3 moles, I'm going to have 2 moles. So 2 moles of I2. Use your ratio. Moles of I2 on the bottom. And then the moles of the HI on the top. This is the balanced equation. Use those coefficients. There was nothing in front of I2, so that means that there is a 1, right? So 1 goes on the bottom, and the 2 goes with the HI. Cancel those units out. 2 times 2 is 4 moles of HI. Okay, here's my two answers. You have to compare them. The lowest number is the theoretical yield. The higher number does not exist. So, unfortunately, we had to do this, but this number doesn't exist. 4 is less than 6. So this is the theoretical yield. And if you needed to know who was the uh, limiting reagent, it's always the reactant that got you there. So technically, I2 is your limiting reactant. They didn't ask that here, but, you know, just in case. If you guys need to know that. Reactant. Okay. So this doesn't exist, but you had to do it to compare. But now we know that our theoretical yield is 4 moles. So I can find my percent yield. Percent yield equals... The 1.0 divided by the 4.0 times 100. Your theoretical yield could be in moles, it could be in grams, it doesn't matter, just has to be the same unit on the top and the bottom. So 1 divided by 4 is 25, so this is basically 25%. Not too, not too terrible. So percent yield equals 25%. So that answers the percent yield question. But I think they also wanted the theoretical yield in grams. We found out the theoretical yield was 4 moles. So we can just easily convert that, right? Going from moles to grams. We've done that time and time again. 4 moles of HI times by the ratio. Mole of HI goes on the bottom. And then grams of HI go on the top. This is a periodic table. And remember... For every one mole, you find the mass of what it is on the periodic table. So we have an H, 1.008, plus an I, which is 126.9. You get roughly 127.908. Cancel these out, and now you just times it by 4, because you have 4 moles and not 1 mole. So my theoretical yield in grams is 511 and it looks like there's two sig figs all around here. So we'll say 5.1 times 10 to the 1, 2 grams of HI. And there we go. So two answers here, guys. All right? So this is your theoretical yield in grams. It's always the smaller of the two. And then you produced a 25% yield. Not bad, but eh, that's okay. A lot of error, but it's all right. It's chem. Anyway, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for reviewing the video. Uh, let's keep studying hard, and good luck on your tests or quizzes. I will see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.